Top Med Talk. So I am Monty Mython, Editor-in-Chief of Top Med Talk, coming to you live from Ed Pom 2019, live from the British Museum <laughs> in central London. <laughs> Woo! And we're just in the middle of a special reception. This year's EdPom meeting is in partnership with the Prehabilitation World Congress, which is also supported by POETS, which is the Perioperative Exercise Testing and Training Society. So I'm joined here by my co-host, uh, the lead anchor from the USA, Desiree Chapel. Desiree, how's it going? Monty, it is awesome. We've had a wonderful first day here. Uh, lots of wonderful presentations and the buzz around this uh, launch of the uh, new initiative is fantastic. Everybody's excited. Well, it's a special launch of an initiative supported by Macmillan, which is yes. one of our major cancer charities in the United Kingdom. And it's all about prehabilitation for cancer. So we've just had a very moving session yeah. in the main auditorium here at the end of the first day of EBPOM 2019 and the third World Prehabilitation Congress, including a number of patients telling very emotive stories, very emotional stories about their own cancer journey, living with and beyond cancer, and the way that they believe that exercise programs and nutrition programs and mental well-being programs help them get through. Save their life. I mean, Absolutely. some of them really feel like that. And I mean, that is something that is so touching and moving and that we can hear those experiences at a meeting like this, I think is, is so important and to include those people. I mean, it really drives the message. Everything that we hear from the you know international authorities on the subject, it, it really is always um, more poignant when you have patients talking about it. So, so we're going to be interviewing a number of people tomorrow, specifically yeah. about those subject areas. T- t- tomorrow is the second day of the Combined World Prehabilitation Congress and EPOM 2019. And on Thursday is an EPOM standalone day. Mm-hmm. Also in parallel tomorrow is the TRIPOM meeting. That's right. Trainees in Perioperative Medicine. And we're joined here by one of the US leads for TRIPOM. That is, Corey, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Corey Springman. I'm a Duke Perioperative Medicine Fellow. And what do you do for TRIPOM? Uh, for for TRICOM, I do my best to be a lead advisor and really try to encourage residents to, to understand how important perioperative medicine is. It's it's really well known throughout Duke, but throughout the United States, it's not really as um, prominent within the uh, educational curriculum within each resident uh, residency program. That's great. So try to be a... Uh, a lighthouse and trying to get, be a beacon and let people know that, that this is coming and it's really important. <laughs> it's here. And, uh, yeah. you know, providers and patients really enjoy it. Right. So um, here in the British Museum, it's quite an unusual venue. So we're, the, we're in the heart of the British Museum in London. Uh, it's gorgeous. It's actually, actually downstairs was a really great tweet that went out earlier on today to say it's, there aren't many meetings you go to in the lunch hour. You can go and have a look at some of the most amazing things that we've acquired uh, there's some lovely marble collections in the building. For Have you seen, I've seen a lot of marble. I haven't seen a lot of antiquities. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get up there. It's yeah, absolutely fantastic. one of these days. And, and there's actually spe- there's some special additional events going on at the moment at the British yeah. Museum. So there's a munch. Munch. The munch, the scream. Edvard yeah. Munch. Oh, that's yeah. here. Yeah. I don't know if they're... They don't, oh. <laughs> they don't <laughs> really are, oh, but you have to say I it. I don't know if the scream is here, but there's, I'm guessing so. But there, well, there's, I would think. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, you know, he's a... There's a special lecture happening on Thursday. We've managed to arrange for there to be... It's difficult. It was challenging at times. But we've arranged to interrupt at lunchtime on Thursday to have an Edvard Munch lecture about Munch and women. V- women. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And we can go in there and listen. You can, yeah. It's open to everyone here. Everyone yeah. is at our That's uh, amazing. Isn't that cool? I mean, you don't hear about anything like that at any medical conference. Only at EPOM. <laughs> Only at EPOM. <laughs> the other thing we've been... Uh, using today is the um, let's call it um, silent disco or silent opera yeah. technology, silent congress technology, um, and uh, I think the guys are actually listening at the moment. I don't think we can switch to the other channels that are playing. Nick, can you switch in the other channel that we're listening to? No, that's too difficult. Well, we've got two other channels playing. We've got yeah. some previously recorded <clears> Tom <throat> talk, and we've got some music um, recorded by. The very famous DJ. Dr. Mython. Dr. Dr. PJ Mython, if you're listening, Patrick. <laughs> We've had a number of sets recorded that are available online. And they're playing on the other channel. I, can't, I, I love it. Dr. Doctor with Tito Lacey. Yeah. We found some recorded at various different festivals. 
They were at Glastonbury, weren't they? Paddy was at Glastonbury. He was playing in the rabbit hole just a few days ago. That's awesome. amazing. Paddy, you're yeah. the official DJ of yeah. Talk and Talk. I don't know if you're <laughs> listening or not. those listening, he'll be appearing next at El Dorado oh. over the weekend on, the, on Treasure Island. Sweet. I don't know when the set is. I have no idea where that is or what that is, but it Mom's sounds awesome. Mum's just come to join us. By the way, so she might be able to tell us when the Treasure Island set is. So, Paddy, we're very proud of you. <laughs> maybe, maybe at ASA we might see you there, Paddy. Exactly. Get to do a live set there using the, uh, the technology. But as we look out, there are people now starting to grab the headphones and boogie along to Bo- whatever boogie. else is playing. It's really <laughs> nice. It's a break from the, the, all the education and information. Yeah, it's very therapeutic. You can grab your lunch. You can just grab a snack listen to some music, yeah. and then go back in, feel refreshed. So wherever you are, if Top Med Talk is there, Absolutely. look for the silent disco. Come I think that's us. the message. When you see people dancing with Dancing. Them, you know? <laughs> I love it. It's good. You know what? you got to keep it interesting, and um, I think our listeners will appreciate that. Absolutely. You know what I mean? We are, a, we are a, an audio you know, podcast, and we need to mix it up a little bit. So Great I think stuff. it's all well, good. We, we better crack on and do some work. We're going to be able to do a special evening event. We are. Sponsored by Edwards Life Sciences called... Here we go. The AI doctor will see you now. Pras Hatib, who's the Senior Director for Algorithms and Signal Processing, R&D Engineer, is going to be interviewed by Desiree Chapel. And I'm going to be answering questions. No, I'm going to be in the chair, I think, aren't I? No, you are going to be in the chair. You're always in the chair. There we go. The hot seat. Any other highlights from today? Sorry. Oh... Oh, long pause. <laughs> no, I mean, there was just so much great oh, information. Good, there wasn't... Good recovery. No, honestly, it was it was yes. profound. Everyone's outcomes that, that were gathered. Granted, I mean, I know that they were selected upon because they do have such profound outcomes, but it seems like the most simplest things, the basic things that we have, you know, wandered away from in medicine are really coming back. And the most important thing is we're getting the patient experience. While we're clinicians, we love the numbers. Yeah. But to have that patient experience, it speaks leaps and bounds way more to, to the whole population, uh, whether than just clinicians. Yeah. So I'd say today, we, you know, we had patients giving lectures yeah. on the stage, very informative for us. Mm-hmm. It's been, I think, truly multidisciplinary. Truly. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You know, there's no doubt about that, I no. would say. Our and panel was a geriatrician, a perioperative medicine physician, and a dietitian. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, it's absolutely. awesome. And, uh, and I think, you know, prehabilitation is hot. This yes. meeting sold out really quickly. It and did. despite adding an extra venue for us to live stream to, it sold out it's again. <laughs> really? Just, yes. That's amazing. Yeah. So my top is. tip is put on a meeting with prehabilitation in the title. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the third world congress. I think yeah. the first one was in Canada. Last year was in the Netherlands. This year it's in London. I think next year it's in Barcelona. Oh, that's right. Yeah. In Spain. Who wouldn't want to go to Barcelona? Barcelona is amazing. I have a bit of Barcelona. Talk oh. talk will be there. To get, interview the person organizing it next Franco year. Franco Carly. Might inadvertently <laughs> uh, he was you. wonderful. Yeah, he yeah. was great. Thank no, I, th- I think it's uh, I think it's been a great day, and I look forward to tomorrow. Great Thank stuff. Well, uh, folks listening, we will lay down some serious results in the next couple of days. There's yeah. lots of late breaking trials here. Lots of new information. Thank you for listening to this little teaser. Uh, mm-hmm. We're going to go and have to do our other evening session now. And we'll be back with you early tomorrow morning. So thanks a lot for listening, folks. Cheers. Top Med Talk. Nick Majerison here. Thanks for listening to Top Med Talk. Now, before we let you go, it's important that we remind you to subscribe to Top Med Talk. That way you'll never, ever miss another episode. Also, if we could encourage you to join us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, pretty much every single social media platform, we're there. Join us. And finally, check out topmedtalk.com. If you go to our website, you can subscribe to email updates. That way we can always tell you where we're going to be, what we're going to be doing and how you can join us. Topmedtalk.com and click on the section marked email updates. Finally, Top Med Talk is proud to act as the broadcasting arm of EBPOM, Evidence-Based Perioperative Medicine. We'd love you to find out more about them as well. EBPOM.org is their website. That's E-B-P-O-M.org. And if you go to EBPOM.org forward slash meetings, you can find out about some of the wonderful meetings that we attend and cover across the year here on Top Med Talk. That's EBPOM.org forward slash meetings.